Good afternoon and welcome to Wembley. This is a day that Northampton Town have been waiting for for a hundred years. Their first ever trip to Wembley. The Welshman Sean Parrish set the third division playoff ball rolling at Cardiff in the semi-final first leg. Yorkshireman Ray Warburton sealed victory in the return to set six fields alight. The joy was unconfined. The players though have to come back down to earth for the big test today against Swansea. Not so the fans, they've been on cloud nine ever since, right up to this morning's mass exodus from Northampton. 35,000 of them have bought tickets for what should be the best attended third division playoff final ever. And who can blame them for getting carried away? Four short years ago, they were just 45 minutes away from going out of the league. Today comes the chance for Wembley glory. And here on Wembley Way, the fans from Northampton in no doubt that the 50 mile or so trip will have been well worthwhile. Are they going to do it this afternoon? Yes, they are. I think that we're going to win about 2 nothing. 2 nothing. but to, uh, Swansea have won the other two matches they've played against you this season. Is that going to make a difference? No, I never, never will thrash in this time. And what's the score going to be? Well, I think it, I think it'll be 3-1. Um, we've waited 100 years for this and we're going to win today. Definitely. So you're going to be playing in Division 2 next season? Definitely, yes, yeah. always. Smashing, absolutely. Great day for the fans, of course, a great day for the players, and an equally great day for Ian Atkins. Just over two years in charge at Northampton Town. Uh, Ian with me now. Ian, you've come a long way in that time. Oh, great strides. Um, so the first, when I came to the club, it was just one year of survival. And it took us a year, really, to clear out the people whose contracts I, uh, I took over. Uh, and really, it's been the last year I've been able to build my own side. And fair credit to the players, they've, they've been magnificent. And accumulating this Wembley chip at the end of the season, which no one thought would ever ever happen. And what does it mean to you personally to be leading a team out at Wembley? Oh, it's everybody's dream. I mean, as a player, you, it's the next best thing to play in. And to obviously lead a team out, it's a very proud moment for me. And it's one that you'll always cherish. And a word for the fans, because they've been tremendous already today, haven't they? Well, it is. I mean, you look around the stadium now, I think ours is, is filling up quite nicely. And look at the Swans end, it's empty. Um, you get to bring 33, 35,000 down, to show the enormous potential that we have in the club. Hopefully now that we'll start believing in it and realising that we are a progressive club, uh, and no, no longer a laughing stock, and they'll get behind us, and we can just keep going on and growing. And how has the build-up to the match gone overnight? Been very good. The players very relaxed. Some of them came down the Wembley last night, had a go on the dogs. A couple of them come out winners, ten to one. So I have that continues today. Luck's in at the moment. Hopefully. <laughs> Screen and a deafening roar. Swansea City and Northampton Town on their way out. A place in the playoffs more than the Northampton manager Ian Atkins could have envisaged back in September when his side had won just one of their first nine league games. But they've made real progress this season, Northampton Town, and a Wembley appearance, a fitting way to celebrate the club's centenary. Northampton sold over 35,000 tickets, a bigger allocation than that given to both Chelsea and Middlesbrough for the FA Cup final last weekend. Promotion to the second division at stake, but a real cup final atmosphere at Wembley. Northampton Town's first ever Wembley appearance has really caught the imagination of their supporters. They've clamoured for tickets all week and now they're here, they're determined to enjoy themselves. Northampton are the third division's form team, they're unbeaten in nine games, but manager Ian Atkins has decided to make a bold tactical move in a bid to unsettle Swansea. Jason White has left out and in comes Christian Lee. He's got pace and he'll operate just behind Neil Grayson and John Gale. Lee has only started 12 games all season, but he's scored seven goals and his manager is confident he can put pressure on the Swansea full-backs. Young Mulby is back for Swansea. Mulby has had a hamstring problem and missed the semi-final against Chester, but the player manager knows his way around Wembley and his big-time experience could prove vital. Swansea have been forced into making changes though. Steve Jones broke a leg in the second leg of the semi-final 
So top scorer David Penny has been called on to fill in at right back. Teenager Damien Lacey was the manager's only other option and he's missed half the season with illness. This afternoon's referee is Terry Heilbron from County Durham. on Northampton according to manager Ian Atkins who says most of the club supporters are just happy to see their team at Wembley but they're determined to make an early impression it's John Gale who fires in the first shot Gale who could play a significant part in this game Northampton playing with Gale and Grayson as the two up front giving Christian Lee the opportunity to attack and use his pace down the wings with the header on both Higgs and Torpy had made a run for him here is Higgs and a brilliant save by Woodman an opportunity from nothing for Carl Higgs and an excellent save by Andy Woodman Mulby with the intelligent header down Higgs with a good volley and a brilliant save by Woodman crucial intervention by Andy Woodman Just three minutes gone, and an excellent opening for Swansea City. Applying more pressure here from the corner. Grayson, who was back in his penalty area to help out, and heads again over the top. This time he wasn't so accurate, but Carl Heggs twice then has come close to putting Swansea City ahead. Woodman who's had a splendid season making a splendid save to deny Heggs it was a terrific drive and Woodman was quickly on his toes to get the ball away who scored a spectacular goal for Northampton in the first leg of the semi-final at Cardiff Parrish guilty of the foul hit in towards the run at the far post by Edwards that was a good header by Christian Edwards hasn't scored this season but he was in then behind Gale Torpy was the man who was making the run into the middle for him. Good delivery by Ampadu, but an easy catch for Woodman. And Moreira. Swansea throw. Moreira and Coates working well together down the left side for Swansea City generally accepted that Swansea are one of the better footballing sides in the third division tried to play the game on the ground and Mulvey has given the ball away to Grayson Grayson is clear he's got Parrish with him and it's hooked away by Edwards smart clearance by Christian Edwards Sean Parrish angry he felt that he was held on the way through then but that by far Northampton Town's best opening and it all came about as a result of a mistake by Jan Mulby Christian Edwards keeping cool under pressure Mulby far too lazy good work by Grayson Lee was away to his right he picked out Parrish to his left and the shot had beaten Freeston that was an excellent clearance Moreira who's been fouled by Hunter Hunter bemused by the decision but this is an inviting opening for Swansea City Edwards has been pushed forward Penny is also in there 
which Hawke is a real threat at set pieces. Across the face of goal and Edwards with a header over the top. Rennie is in need of attention. It was a difficult free kick to defend against. And it was Edwards who was the last man coming in who couldn't keep the header on target. Came to him a bit too quickly. And real worries for Northampton now because David Rennie needs urgent attention. Bleeding profusely from above the left eye. This is a real blow for Northampton Town. It's evenly balanced, there's no doubt about that. Swansea City, the team with the flair. Northampton Town, the team with the raw aggression. And the character. given a reminder by Neil Grayson that he can't have too much time on the ball. Dean Peer is on for Northampton Town as a replacement for David Rennie. of the game has slowed considerably as we move towards half time but that's understandable on a very hot and very tense afternoon it started with great promise Carl Heggs had a good opportunity for Swansea City denied by Andy Woodman then Northampton had a very good chance indeed when Sean Parrish had a shot cleared off the line by Christian Edwards Ian Atkins will have to readjust and he clearly wants more effort from his side. Half-time at Wembley then, it's Northampton Town nil, Swansea City nil. chances a tense and disjointed first half which is perhaps understandable with a place in the second division as the prize Northampton were unable to get Christian Lee involved in the first half Swansea have had more of the possession but they haven't created a great deal maybe their player manager Jan Mulby can find some inspiration in the second half but the longer it continues like this the more chance there is of extra time and who knows, then maybe penalties. It's Grayson. Now Hunter. Frame. Lee. Agonizingly wide at Freestone's post. But that's why Christian Lee is in there. His manager was eager for him to get forward at every opportunity. It was a good positive header there by Lee. Freeston was nowhere near it. Good cross as well by Frayne. And that wasn't too far away. It's a huge arena. It's a very noisy arena at the moment as the Northampton Town supporters, some 35,000 of them, come into full voice. Christian Lee's effort has brought them back to life. But it's Swansea attacking here with Thomas and now Torpy. Hakes wasn't able to get there. Ampadu also forward with this Swansea attack. They've got five in the penalty area, Swansea. Header was inches wide from Hakes. Atkins determined to get his midfield forward. That's where he feels Northampton are losing their grip on this game. Okay. So difficult. 
able to shake off the ball, John Gale. Hunter. Parrish. Crane out wide. In towards Gale. Had the whole goal to aim at. But the header over the top. Good cross from John Frayne, who's really stretching out down the left side for Northampton now. Gale just held back a step. It was a powerful header. It was a well-directed header, but it never troubled Freeston. Here's Lee. Hunter. Northampton need the midfield to get involved a bit more. There could be something on here. Lee! Ball was setting up very nicely for Christian Lee. Sean Parrish also getting forward then with that Northampton attack. They need to get Hunter and Parrish involved more. Parrish was angry that Lee decided to have a shot on goal. Time for Northampton to make another change. It's a straight swap really. John Gale is going off. Jason White is coming on. Gale has battled manfully to make an impression. His contribution being acknowledged by the Northampton supporters. John Gale, who wouldn't shirk any of the physical exchanges, is off. And on comes Jason White. The player left out to accommodate Christian Lee. Can he now prove his manager wrong? Frame. Chase for Lee who felt he was held by Walker. The referee's unimpressed. One last chance maybe for Northampton Town. We're in the second minute of injury time. Hunter poised to take yet another long throw Samson Forbert Warburton's in there Lee who's won a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area Christian Lee fouled by Keith Walker Swansea have everybody back Roger Freeston organising the wall Frayne who's got a terrific left foot or it could be Hunter who's ready to curl one Terry Heilbron wants the wall pushed further back Swansea have seven in the wall plus two from Northampton Frayne charged down by Coates who is a bit too quick off the mark Jonathan Coates about to be booked. Northampton have another free kick in exactly the same position. What will they do this time? Will it be Hunter? Will it be Frayne? Clarkson has also ventured forward this time. Terry Hilbron, the referee, still not happy with things. Frayne again, and he's got it! What a marvellous goal from John Frayne. Ian Atkins off the bench. The Northampton supporters is static. John Frayne, who signed on transfer deadline day after a spell on loan from Birmingham City, scores his first goal for Northampton Town in the most dramatic fashion. A sweetly struck free kick. Freeston had no chance. The goalkeeper decided to put seven players into the wall. And the whistle has gone. Northampton can celebrate. John Frayne is engulfed with his teammates.
Ian Atkins, the manager, across to join them. What a dramatic finish to a playoff final. The manager as pleased as his players. The Swansea City players just can't believe it. Jan Mulby, who must have thought that he'd seen it all in his long career, is dumbfounded as well. It's ten years since they won the fourth division championship under Graham Carr. Now they make the step up via the promotion playoffs. Ray Warburton, the Northampton Town skipper, is across to accept the trophy, which means that Northampton Town will be playing second division football next season. It's been a great day out for Northampton Town and their supporters. Northampton Town's first appearance at Wembley in this their centenary year and it means so much to them. you all to be leaping around but it looks as though you are all a little bit exhausted. We use all our energy on the pitch, you know. We'll be leaping around tonight. Yeah, I think we'll be leaping around tonight. I've yeah, been here three years now and uh, three years ago about this week we started to see the football league and uh, it's just going up and up, the new stadium, great set of lads, uh, a lot of good young players so it's the future's looking good for us. I mean, as they fell, I mean, they had a bit of pressure at times, had a couple of edits to open down. Everything we didn't do today, I think we got in good, excellent positions in the striking in the last day. But we didn't use, we didn't kill them off. We're going up, we're going up, we're going, God bless, going up, we're going up, we're going up, we're going, God bless, going up. And so the curtain comes down on another season of league football, and what a finish it's been here this afternoon. Hearty congratulations to Northampton Town, their players, their manager Ian Atkins, but most of all to their fans. They've given them tremendous support this afternoon. A hundred years they've waited for this. Celebrations going on long into the night. Then comes the busy task for the players of preparing for life in Division 2. They'll do well, I'm sure. So too are we hoping for the best from the rest of the region's clubs. It all starts up again in August, but for now, it's goodbye from a very happy Wembley Stadium. increased during the morning.